Hello and welcome to our tour of room 4057 on board Morella's newest ship, the Morella Voyager. This room is an outside cabin situated portside on deck 4. Please note that any opinions in this video are our own and our experience might necessarily not be the same as yours. So let's get started and explore what room 4057 has to offer. So on first glance the rooms look well appointed, very much smaller than the Discovery 2 but everything you need to have a comfortable stay. We opted for the single bed option, allowing us more room to move and easy navigation when the ship is rocky. Beds were comfortable and pillows were fine, however, the room just felt a bit underdressed. Again, the room seemed well equipped with tea and coffee, however, not very well stocked, and a kettle that was very small. The benefit with this room over the Discovery 2 is that it comes with a fridge, which is perfect for storing snacks or additional milk that we took from the kitchens. So let's discover how much storage there was. Well, this room had an abundance of storage. It had three large wardrobes along with cubby holes and six separate drawers. This isn't including the additional four drawers at the bedside. Inside the cubby holes was a mini safe and plenty of hangers to satisfy most people. However, this area is very narrow and care needs to be taken when exiting the bathroom as doors open out onto the wardrobe area with very little wriggle room. Above the first wardrobe you will find spare pillows but please make sure you check thoroughly before you leave as there are many places in here for things to get lost. As you can see the room is equipped with a vanity area and a hair dryer and this is where the plug sockets are but I must stress that this ship is not well equipped when it comes to sockets. These are the only usable ones in the room and one of them is taken up by a USB port that can't be removed. On Discovery 2, all the light fittings had USB ports allowing far more plug sockets to be used. On top of this we found the room to be dusty and uncared for and just looking a little bit tired. There were stains on the woodwork and some on the surfaces and even on the bedding. We had to speak to our room attendant to get our correct changed as it was clearly dirty and not appealing to use. On top of all this, the dirty toilet seat that we were greeted by when filming was really off-putting. Morella, you really need to up your standards considering this is your new ship. It appears that no work was done in the cabins at all to make the ship seem new. Now let's take a trip to the bathroom where things still have some issues. The step up into the bathroom is very high and Mike and I both have sore toes from catching them trying to navigate it in the dark. Please be mindful of this if you have any mobility issues at all. There is a handle in the bathroom to assist you if you need it. But as far as those earlier issues go, this is where it turns around. We actually loved this bathroom here. It was plenty big enough with enough storage for two people. It was nice to have a toilet that wasn't on a corner and the bathroom was cleaned and stocked daily. The shower was quite big, leaving a lot of space to manoeuvre and it even had a glass shower screen. I don't know what brand of toiletries they used, but the shower gel provided was lovely and great for people with sensitive skin. All in all, I thought the bathroom was a great space. So a rundown of the room in a hole. We were disappointed with the lack of power outlets in the room, meaning even the kettle had to be moved to go in the one plug available. The room was tired and a little dirty to start with, but seemed to get better through the cruise. We need to just stress though how hard the staff work here and how amazing they were at putting our issues right. They were very hard working and did everything they could, including amazing turndowns to make our stay pleasant. All issues were resolved and overall the room was great for two people. We thought we would end by showing a double bed layout of the family room. We thank you for watching this video and hope you come back soon. Please subscribe and like for more content.